Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be checking out the new pressure on horses. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, firstly, uh, I thought it was funny to ring my pony um, and do a size comparison. <laughs> um, but the new horses can be found here at Steve's Steve's farm, but no, at Molly's farm. <laughs> so uh, I think Kate uh, took a dangerous fall from that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna check these horses here out and then we're gonna move to Fort Pinta and see how they look there. So I'm super excited to see this and ah oh, okay just look at the size though I think it's so funny <laughs> that I'm sitting so small against these humongous horses and I really really like that I really really think this is gonna be like the first <laughs> but um <laughs> but I really think this is gonna be the first draft breed I I like so I'm, I'm excited about that um I actually really like the neck being so huge and stuff I'm I really really like that uh okay so here we have the gray and there's not a lot of people so we can see quite easily and then next to it, the black. Um, I, like I said, I think I already know which one I want. Um, but the flaxen chestnut, ac chestnut actually looks better in game than what it looked. You call it the trailers for me. But it's kind of insane. I mean, it's kind of insane. Like, <laughs> I'm not even like sitting on this horse. It's so funny. Okay, and then um, I assume the lighter gray will be standing here when it's moving from Fort Pinta. And then um, this one, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Um, I really just like, if you Google Pershtron, this is like the coat color that comes up. So um, that's really, really neat. And yeah, I think this one, but I'm genuinely, quite impressed with how the flaxen looks in game it looked like not as good to me in the trailers but it looks much better in game here and i really like the details on the side so i might end up getting two but probably not since i'm quite stock coin save savey sa uh, i don't like spending stock coins too much necessary too much um so i think we're gonna move to uh what you call it for pinta and we're gonna check out the horse there Okay, let's see the horse here. So um, this one is the lighter of the grades and it's really pretty too. Um, I really, really like the details. And like I said in the in my video yesterday, um, I really, oh no, it's eating grass. Lift your head. I really like um, the details of the face this time. I'm, I really, really, really like them. Um, and it may be different to some people, but I really like that like kind of face that it has it looks like it's like kind of proud of itself and that's the same reason i bought the Shink shinko teak is because of the eyes they just look cute and to me this is not a realistic game so effects like that um like the small things not like the bigger things but the small things really oh it's my i can just go for pick up <laughs> i really enjoy because um it just it gives character to the horse sometimes and that's quite nice Okay, but I think we're gonna go ahead. I already have like a nickname actually for the horse and that's pretty unique coming from me considering I do not really remember the names of my horses. <laughs> I'm very bad. I'm very sorry. Okay, we are back and I'm wondering what these tables are gonna fill one day. I'm gonna really, really excited to see that. But let's go ahead and get this dark ray and I'm gonna name him. His nickname is gonna be Hugo because he's huge. I mean, that's so creative. Um, so let's see how like something like, you know, his his competing name will be. But no, his stable name will be Hugo. You, you know, <laughs> Hugo. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We're just going to call him Iron Orb. No, it sounds awful. I'm terrible with this. Iron... Okay, Iron Tip, I think, sounds better. So let's go with the Iron Tip. But no, we're just gonna call him Hugo. Okay, gonna get Hugo. Where is Hugo? Uh, let's put him here. Hi, Hugo. You are huge, though. Okay, now is the question. Am I really gonna like this horse while riding it? Because I don't know. I have a thing for chunky breeds. I don't know. They always... I don't know. I will always be like the sporty, the sporty type of person. I like sport horses. 
these big big horses are like just not for me in general but yeah i'm excited to see how i will look in this but i think the first thing we want first thing we want to do is there is their bridle i did not see this coming i thought it was the normal medieval bridles on the trailer but clearly i was blind but i mean this looks kind of pretty i am sure that the region can can wear it too but i'm very happy that these big boys get a new bridle too and yeah you get that design with like the thingy in the middle and he keeps eating grass i don't know what grass you're eating there's nothing there uh jovic frisian gotland fennels array arabian percheron what's this what horses was this do you think this is the new dragon horses that's coming because i don't know their names okay let's see let's see big boy what what color do you want to wear today i am um, not the best with making outfits um i really like the white though i i promise you most of my things are just gone i have no idea where i put them i'm really desperately looking for my for my yellow cellar pad i have no idea where it is i went through my horses and i couldn't see it so i don't know if it's like just glitching or if it's gone forever you know bye bye never see you again i don't know i don't think you should wear white pants with this i think it would be too white so wouldn't it yeah i would i don't know the black doesn't look too bad actually just because the horse is dark too i'm not a fan of these reins they are so buggy that's why i haven't bought like more of these bridles i hate the reins on these new on these new things i swear the reins on the other um bridles don't look as bad as these ones okay firstly my first impressions of riding here i'm a bit concerned about certain things but we'll look into it now uh i very much dislike this bridle i cannot with the reins it just looks wacky uh, I'm just gonna change it out because it would bug me the whole time. They still haven't fixed this. They still haven't fixed these. It's weird. So, um, yeah, I don't know. The new bridles is a definite no for me. I really like the idea. They just look weird. So, I understand that the reins always go through the neck. Um, but, I don't know. When compared to this, I think it's that bump. It's that bump that has been bugging me forever. It's that bad. Like with the other reins, it doesn't do that. Like it's smooth. And then it's quite fine going through the neck, especially with these horses have a really big neck. So you would assume that it would go more, go through the neck. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna just stay with this bridle. Otherwise it's gonna bug me the whole time. So ignore the outfit, honestly. Um, I'm gonna first give my opinion on the walk. So let's see. I don't know, it feels different than the trailers. I don't know if it's just me being, being weird again, but I don't know, I felt very weird riding them here. Um, and then Dilly also, he just needs to give his opinion, as always. Um, I don't know, this is the this is the walk and we can see from the side too. I think what I'm going to do different, usually I just leave it. I really want to give my commentary over the walk and stuff this time. Uh, so do you know what I'm thinking? And then we're going to move on to the trots. It's a bit bouncy, but I really like that since it's a heavier breed. It carries itself more in that way. So I don't mind that too much. In general, I'm quite happy with the with the trot. This does, this, this looks quite nice. My issue gets with like the faster gates, I think. I'll put this off. Well, okay. So um, the trot's quite fine. I, like I said in the trailer, people were concerned about the movement in the back legs. I cannot 100% confirm on that since I do not study horse anatomy. <laughs> but we can move on to the canter and see. Right now, here is where my, my issue comes in. Um, what is happening with the tail? It feels awkward. It feels like if you look on the trot, it feels like the canter is squished in. It feels like it's like, it feels like it shortens itself. It just feels like, it just feels stumpy and awkward. That legs that come up too high. I have no idea what's exactly bugging me. Okay, went into the bushes. But there's definitely something off. I just can't tell you that. But the trot's fine. Like, it's trot is relaxed. And as soon as you go into the canter, it's a bit stuffy. Um, but I'm just being very critiqueful. But yeah, I think the front legs just move a bit too high, maybe. But I think we can move on to the slow canter. Oh no, oh no, they didn't fix this. They didn't fix it. I thought they fixed it. They did fix certain things, but there's a bug. There's definitely a bug. Um, if you're looking at the slow canter, I'm going to try to see if I can put this in slow-mo, but I don't know if my computer can do it. But there's something with the front legs. Just watch the front legs. Something is, it's like it's holding in place too long. It's like it's flicking its, um, its legs forward. 
one of the front legs like doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. i don't know maybe i'm being too critical on it yeah i just saw that that's well, that's um, that's one thing but okay um you know if i'm racing from this it doesn't feel too awkward like if you're racing on no hate but if you're racing on a on a lipizzano you just like oh, you just like bounce the whole way just because i know it's an older model but it irritates i cannot ride it it irritates me i don't feel this way on the bigger breed i don't feel this way i just i don't know if there's something let's look at the transition slow gallop to full gallop yeah, there's nothing really that bugs me too much. Um, of the Frisians, I have more critique. This is quite fine. I'm just very, I'm very concerned about the canter and this slow canter thingy with the leg. But I might just be blind. I also just wrote a two-hour exam, so I'm quite tired. But yeah, um, I, ooh, we forgot. Okay, so there is a special move we can check out next. So that is when you're walking, you press shift and then you go forward. I really like this. I really, really, really like this. This is super neat. I feel that there needs to be clubs that do, that use this. This is super neat. I'm really hoping with the updates for the riding arena that Star Stable starts making horse breeds, especially like this, that you can use. Imagine that. I mean, their biggest payer base is dressage and I would die to have something like this. This would be epic. So that's really nice. I really, really like this. This is my favorite part. So plus on that, in general, I'm really happy with the breed. Um, I'll need to play a while to be able to see if I want more or not. Out of the bigger breeds in game, the Jorvik Frisians, Jorvik Frisians, wrong one. The Jorvik Wilds are still my favorites. Um, and then after it would be probably nothing. I dislike the, sorry, I dislike the Clydesdales and the Irish Cops. They are not my favorite just because in general, I dislike bigger breeds. But yeah, I do feel happy with this one. I do feel ha I would place it on my tier list. I would place it above the Clyde Sales and the Irish Cobb. But yeah, in general, I, I am not too disappointed. I was more disappointed in other breeds. This is really, I feel it's very well done. I would not classify it on the same level as an Arabian. I, but I generally really love the Arabians. But I do, what I like most about these horses is like, y'all don't know that stance it is just did. I really, really like that. It just, I think it carries itself very majestically and like very like affirmative i don't know if that's the correct word but that i generally do really really like and i really just like the coats like i said i didn't like the flax and chestnut as much when um, in the trailers but they look much better in game as always that's why i always say never watch spoiler videos and always look for the horse in game yourself before you make um decisions on it so yeah guys that's everything from my side please remember to hit that like and subscribe button we're so close to 2k and i cannot thank you guys enough for it so i'll see you in the next one bye